Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Back with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth today. Oh man, gotta be so careful. I was just on Twitter and noticed that Aerith was um, trending. So I came off that straight away. I don't know anything about what happens with Aerith in this game. And I'm so intrigued to find out the proper way. If anybody shares spoilers, I don't care, you know. <laughs> Who you are, if you share spoilers about some grand story moment in Rebirth that I've yet to experience, then yeah, that's going to be a permanent ban from the channel, I'm afraid. Um, I'm not even going on the internet now. <laughs> but good to see you guys. We're going into the Mithril Mines today, which is Chapter 3 of Rebirth. Looking forward to seeing what's in store for us there. In fact, I do know because I did play up to Chapter 4 on my first playthrough before streaming, which is in the Junon region. Um, but still, it's a fun area, very much expanded from the OG FF7. Oh yeah, good to see you, Dark. You've just finished streaming, have you? You're going to be streaming after my stream as well, with more Rebirth. It was cool to stop by your stream yesterday, actually. Oh, you're welcome, Pirate. You're very welcome. Hello, Twisted and Phoenix. Good to see you. Oh, nice one, Shane. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that area, Costa del Sol. Oh, sorry to hear you're still not great, Reg. You've got to get, get back to your doctors, mate, and put your foot down. Tell them you're not feeling better. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Phoenix Gaming. Okay, then, guys. Good to see you all. Let's crack on with today's stream and continue with the story of Rebirth. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Yeah, everything working. I think that's a first for me, isn't it? A live stream that actually goes well and works. With no technical, uh, you know, hitch-ups. Here is the Mithril Mines. Now, you will remember, of course, from the original Final Fantasy VII, that after... Defeating the Midgar Zolem in that game. We traverse through the mines, encounter the Turks. I'm just setting the scene here from the original. I'm not giving spoilers for this version. We encounter the Turks. We don't fight them. And then we leave the cave and are in the Junon area, ready to start proceeding to Junon. So that's the story of the OG. It takes about 5-10 minutes to make our way through the Mithril Mines and complete the story that's in there, along with grabbing the optional items. So this is the rebirth version, which as I mentioned, sorry, as I mentioned, is expanded upon. So it's not going to be taking us 5-10 minutes, it's going to be taking us a little bit longer. But at least we get to experience it now together. And I love the soundtrack here as well. So reminiscent of the original soundtrack for this area. Okay, Doc. I'm just going to check around for any treasure chests, as there may be one or two lurking around. Yeah, I love the fact that there is, like, info tabs around here. It looks like they haven't been used for a while. But I suggest that perhaps when Junon was a republic... Um, I don't think this was part of the original FF7, but it does seem to be the case in the remake continuity that Junon used to be a republic, an actual political entity as well as just a city, until the Shinra, of course, did their thing, invaded, occupied the place, and now they pretty much run Junon, don't they? So all the people are living below it. A bit like with Midgar, really. But I'm guessing when it was a Republic that the Mithril Mines was a tourist location, since it's... Yeah, it's an awesome cave, isn't it? There's probably a lot of history behind it. So I can imagine it would have been very popular to traverse back in the day, before Shinra came, started messing about with Mako, now there's monsters everywhere. All over the world. And as such, the place looks like it has gone to ruin. I'm not going to level up our folios just yet. Do I need to heal up? Yes, I do. Yeah, I can see what you mean, Christina. 
about FF9 vibes from Calm because you even run along the rooftops at one point, don't you, when trying to evade Shinra, <laughs> which is very FF9. Yeah, did you hear what I said, Red Mario? I said you need to be getting yourself back to the doctors and don't let them fob you off. Put your foot down and tell them there's something not right, that your head is still bad every day, especially when the weather's wrong, you know, when the weather's against you. And they need to do something about it to help you because you're suffering. You need to put your foot down and tell them. Uh, I know it's annoying, Red Mario, but trust me, it's worth it. Yeah, I like FF9, Shane. In many ways, Final Fantasy IX was like one of the final traditional Final Fantasy games, wasn't it? Hope they're okay. Yeah. But if not, nothing we can do. All right. Nah, you stay. I know what I'm doing down here. You don't. Last thing we need is you getting hurt on us. I'll accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. <laughs> okay, if you're sure. Sorry to... I mean... Thank you. <laughs> yes, so in our first deviation from FF7 original... The party's splitting up at this point. Careful down there. One thing that I've noticed has changed in the remake continuity is that the party really does seem to see the humanity in the robed figures. In the original Final Fantasy VII, they were little more than a mystery to be solved. But, I don't know. Even Barrett seems to have some consideration for them. He knows that they're victims of Shinra, of Sephiroth. And even though we still don't understand, you know, what they're all about by this point. It does show a difference, doesn't it, in the writing between the two. I mean, of course, this is a more expanded version. So there is going to be more depth there. But it's just an interesting point to note. Yeah, so Barrett and Red have gone off for the time being. Leaving us to do our own thing. Oh, thanks, Jordan. Jordan says there's an AP up in this area. And I suspect that could be it there. I can see a materia. So we'll try and make our way over. And I'll also be grabbing... The good stuff, i.e. the various ingredients. Ah! Cloud trolling me there a bit. Yeah, there's the AP up. So we can link that to one particular materia. Since it's a blue materia, which means it's a link materia. And I th think it will double. Um, we could level up wind, maybe, or healing. Probably healing's going to be better. Increased AP earned for Link's material by 100%. Okay, well, I'm going to swap the healing and the wind around. I do want to try and get cure and regen. Well, regen's not all that good in this version, but at least the higher level cure spells. Thank you, Jordan, for that tip. Only a few AP ups. Looks like we've got another enemy encounter. A crystalline crab of all things. I think somebody's been uh, eating too much mithril, haven't they? Too bad. It takes practice, Shane. Yeah, I kind of suck at it as well, to be honest with you. But I like to think that I'm getting better the more that I play it. Oh, 
that wasn't very nice at all. Oh, I haven't controlled Aerith yet. That's why we got the tutorial. Right, what's her good stuff here? We've got Sorcerer Storm, which is quite powerful. Although it's in blockage mode at the minute, so can't really do too much damage there. Yeah, the card game, even though I've done a few games already of the card game, it's still introducing various new mechanics in terms of the cards and what have you. Then we've got some new gloves there for Tifa. So I'm thinking it's going to be one of those easy-ish to learn but difficult to master. And some of the strategies you've got to do and think of are definitely going to get the brain taxed. Um, right. Gloves that slice through the air to deliver sharp strikes. Proficiency bonus exploiting enemies' weakness. That's interesting. I'm not sure how that works. But that's good. Um, right, we need to add an ability there. We can do ATB charge rate up. Enhanced techniques. Increases damage dealt by unique abilities by 15% amount. Or MP up. I'm thinking ATB. I do like my ATB bar being filled up sooner rather than later. Uh, we'll put auto cast on. But auto cast ice in this area is probably not the greatest idea. So maybe, I mean, cure would be good, but I'm going to put fire on for now. Start getting AP for fire as well. Yeah, maybe steadfast block so we can level that up, even though I'm not making use of it too much. I think, yeah. In terms of the actual gameplay, I think one of my favourite characters to control is probably Barrett. There feels to be a lot of weight behind him. I don't mean because of his large size. I mean because just how his weapon works and stuff. You really feel it. And being ranged helps a lot as well. Um, Cloud has some ranged attacks, doesn't he? I think this Dad's Platinum Journey was telling me about it on Twitter, maybe. So I haven't seen those yet. How do we get Cloud to... What am I doing? Uh, like going to ranged attack. I'm hmm, not too sure. Okay. Um, right, can we level this up at the moment? Oh no, we need five more. I can see at the bottom left, five more skill points. Okay. Yeah, they did the same, I think, KT, with Remake as well. I did get the Platinum for that game. But yeah, you did have to play through on hard mode. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the Platinum yet for this game. We'll see how the first playthrough goes. Where am I going? I seem lost. Down here, I think, isn't it? Ah, okay, Shane. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. Nice. We just leveled something up. Oh, Chakra. And we should be getting double AP now on Cloud's Restore Materia. So I want him to get Cura. As even though we're still early on in the game, Cure as a cast isn't actually healing that much anymore. And we haven't even used it for that amount, you know, large amount of time. Okay, must block that, as dodging does not seem to work very well. I think we should assess. Did I just Sonic Boom? Yes, I did.
I know it's nearly dead. But I still don't know if assessing is important or not for this game. In terms of trophies or unlocks and things of that nature. Hello, Bobo. Good to see you. Yeah, definitely, Nathan. I agree. I love the original soundtrack, and I love the remixed, orchestrated tracks they've got going on in Remake and Rebirth. But the soundtrack here works because the original is so good, doesn't it? We didn't come this way, did we? There must be treasures down here. Yeah, it's like a little secret area. I am Lumina, yes. I'm only on Chapter 3 at the moment. But I'm very much enjoying it. Okay, I couldn't see any treasure chests. I think it was just ingredients and the crates. What have we got here with Aerith? Because I haven't used her yet. Um, I'm not sure. Let's go to Cloud. Build up and assess here. Come on, Cloud. Get over there. Right, let's assess. Okay, weak to wind. Makes sense. Do we have a wind attack? Don't think so. Somebody's got aero. I think it's cloud, actually. But I'm going to save some MP. Oh, thanks, Lumina. Yeah, the only tips I think I'd be after right now is if you think I've gone past something and missed something. Like a treasure chest or a, an item or a material or something. But yeah, if you let me know about that, I'd appreciate that. I don't think I have so far, though. I think we've got everything. Get going the right way now. I tried to break those crates and ended up climbing on them. Is that Alto or Arto? Alto. No, I don't tend to do so often, Red Mario, in these games because unless I think there's something really important to get. At least in my experience with Remake, most of the steals and that were quite naff. And they just slow the battle down too much. You end up wasting ATB charges on doing them, and a lot of the time they fail anyway. It's not like with some of the other Final Fantasy games. It just it slows the battle down too much for me. For not enough reasons. Wow. This place is huge. Okay, Bobbo. Yes, you can actually purchase more of Pirate Ghost Boy. Uh, sorry, uh, Ghost Ahoy from um, Chadley. You can get it quite early. Hopefully, I take it out of here. Let's see. Okay, so we just want to continue heading south, but we'll just check for any. Items and stuff before we do. If I remember, there's a bit of a puzzle coming up for my first playthrough. But we'll talk about that as and when we get to it.
yeah, does anybody in chat know how to use Cloud's ranged attacks? That's something I would like to try out that I've heard about, but haven't figured it out yet myself. Yeah, me too, Shane. Really enjoying it. Even though it took them like four years. I'm sure it was worth it because so far I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, okay, Jordan. Dodge, then attack. Okay, I thought there was like an actual ranged attack mode he could have rather than just a counter. But okay, appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, that's my fear looming up, which is why I haven't really been using it. Not fear is not the right word. Um, but my apprehension, I suppose. I know that in the original FF7, there are some very powerful morphs, but... Yeah, I'm not too fussed here, unless people tell me otherwise that I should be morphing something. So this is an optional area. So, we dodge, is that right? Oh, okay, I see. So we dodge and then attack. Yeah, and he throws at like a a blade. Okay, and then thank you. Thank you, Lumina. Yeah, cheers guys. I've just noticed now how that seems to work. ingredients still don't want to miss them some crates which are kind of blending into the background a little bit harder to see in this area okay I think we need to head back up to the next level now um, unless there's something we can do here no. Yeah, talking about that sunken plane, I used to do a lot of morphing in that area <laughs> with the W item materia to max out on source items very quickly. That was fun back in the day. Give it all you got. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've already um, assessed these, haven't I? Come on, move out of the way. Two ogres at once. The game's been very mean to us. This firebolt blade or firebolt slash, whatever it's called, probably one of my favourite abilities at the moment. It's got a lot of oomph to it, it really has. Hello, Em. Yes. Yes, indeed you did. <laughs> yeah, it's Rebirth. Chapter 3. So, still fairly early. Oh, nice one, Isaiah. Yeah, it's the only real feasible way to max out stats, isn't it? In FF7. Yes, you could morph them one at a time, but... That would probably take hundreds, if not thousands of hours to max out the party with that method. Did we lose them? Still got time to catch up. Yeah, the Conformer is fantastic for morphing in FF7 because it still does maximum damage. So you can do like 9,999 damage while morphing, which is just, well, it's a game changer. All right, what have we got in terms of materia here? Uh, pretty much everything 
We've already got... Okay. Should I check folios? Maybe there's more ranged stuff that Cl uh, Cloud can unlock. I would like to try and take Cloud down the ranged route if possible. I know it sounds kind of weird, but... Just be something a little bit different. Um, he's only got 10 skill points, actually, so it's not really going to be feasible right now. Plus, I think we need to unlock more levels. Hello, Ben. Yes, I've noticed that. At first, I was confused when I was um, in combat and I was guarding with Barrett at one point and, and getting immune and I thought it was some special ability that Barrett had. Then it happened with Cloud and I realised, ah, you actually get rewarded for guarding at a perfect time rather than just holding the button down. Well, we know who this is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds a lot like a nice, long, all expenses paid day. Well, more or less. Lucky. Hardly. Thanks for subbing, Jeff. Bored out of his mind. Hmm. <laughs> Probably misses it. <sighs> What's wrong? It's nothing. Just keep talking. Uh. Wait. Seriously? What are we even doing here? Sorry, but I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? <laughs> orders are orders. The whys and wherefores are not our concern. Yeesh. Maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? Hey, M, thank you so much for the super chat. Five bucks, that's very kind of you, and you are welcome. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> Assholes. Who's there? I can heart super chats now. That's new, I never used to be able to do that. <gasps> no freaking way. Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. <laughs> but you three can call me your worst nightmare. Where's Reno? On vacation. And unfortunately for you, I'm here to fill in. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. And a consummate professional. Yeah. So, in the original Final Fantasy VII, you may have forgotten, we meet the Turks here in the same location in the Mithril Mines, but we don't battle them. Elena wants to fight, but I think it's Reno that stops her. Whereas here, Reno isn't here, so we are fighting. Right, I want to see if we can steal anything, because yes, yeah, sometimes... The Turks are known for their steals. Oh, have I not got... Oh, it's a spell? No, I've not got steal. I thought I'd equipped it. Whoops. Okay, well. That's fine. Yeah, that ability that Tifa's got is really good. I don't even know what their weaknesses are. But it ex purposefully exploits their weakness, as it did with Elena there. Uh, what am I even doing with um, Aerith? I have no idea. I'm going to leave her for now. See what the weaknesses are. Probably fire. Actually, lightning, which I don't think I've got equipped. Get some bravery and faith action going on here. She did not like that, did she?
Yeah, I want to try and get some synergy abilities going if we can as well. I don't think we've unlocked enough uh, ATB for them in this fight yet, though. Let's pop over to that with the party members. Honestly, I think the whole point of the synergy abilities is to get you controlling other party members. So you can build up their synergy ATB as well. Oh, I need to be at range for that ability, don't I? Move, move, move. You good? They're getting a bit tougher, aren't they? Sorry, guys, I'm not focused on chat at the minute. Try and get a stagger going. Right, let's see what I can do with Synergy at the moment. We can do Relentless Rush. Or we can do Synchro Cyclone. A spinning Attack, which grants an limited MP. Or Relentless Rush, which is good to use on Staggered Foes. Okay, let's Stagger. Save that one. She's currently staggered herself. Well, paralyzed or something. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Good job I've got some Phoenix downs. Try and get everybody's health back up. I would say TB seems a little slow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So close. There we go. Right. We've got Divine Punishment. That looks fun. Raises limit levels. Or we've got Relentless Rush for Staggered Foes. Let's try this, even though I do like the idea of raising limit levels. Yeah, that was nice. Look at all that damage. That was limit break worthy of damage, that was. Uh, what am I lacking? For Divine Punishment. Oh, Tifa needs one. Move, move, move. Right, Rude's almost down. We've almost got our summon ability as well. Let's do this. Get some limits, maybe. Okay. We didn't get any limit breaks, but hopefully we got some nice uh, levels towards them. Although we might actually kill Elena before using them. Right, Elaine is about to be staggered too. And finish her off. Nice. That wasn't too bad in the end. Hands in 
the air. Right now. Better keep that toy where I can see it. Lest you want a hole in your head. Now then. Y'all got a lot to answer for. A lot of blood on your hands. Got some tips there, guys. You need someone to blame. I'm not sure, Red Mary. I didn't have steel equipped. I did look, but forgot to equip it. <laughs> oh, he's nasty. Come on, Seng. I suggest you look in the mirror. For us, however, things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh, yeah? Bullshit. Take care of Eric for me. <laughs> yeah, I was just reading your comments, Isaiah. Game sizes have just got ridiculously large, haven't they? And just when you thought the Mithril Mines were over. I told you they've expanded on this area. Just gonna float there. <laughs> just gonna float there. <laughs> They're funny, them two. The banter between them. Hey, where are the others? You okay? We're good. Just taking a quick dip to get the crime off. Do you see a way to stop? We'll find one. We'll meet you at the exit. Okay. Yes, yeah, so and now we get to control Barrett and Red Thirteen. There was a section of remake where we controlled Barrett too, wasn't there, in the Shinra? In one Shinra area. With men like this. Can't remember exactly where it was. Poisoned. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. What do you think their deal is? Where they going? Well, I can hear the Genova theme playing. Sephiroth, or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together. A renegade collar. Okay. Sounds like something that Red 13 would like. I wonder what it is. Oh, it's an accessory. I've just realised. Nope. Oh, it's his weapon. I was thinking his weapon was like hairpin and stuff, but no, his weapon's actual collars now. Just make sure they're equipped for the fights. Maybe enemy skill. No, I'll keep that with cloud. But now that's fine. Okay, just check Barrett's. Um, I might give him the AP up or cure. I want to keep trying to get AP on it if we can. So, what I'm going to do... There is a method to the madness here. I'm going to replace Red 13's healing materia with Barrett's healing materia, which is already level 2. Then we're going to... Give Barrett the level 1 healing materia. Uh, this is poison. I don't really care about that. 
AP up. And then we'll just give him some other random bits as well, like lightning and whatever. Like I say, there is a method to the madness here. And we do get some of those flying enemies, so wind is probably not bad to equip either. Oh, you stole a mega potion. Okay. Do we even need to heal? Ah. Get the cheap stuff. I think you can get ingredients, yeah, from breaking some of this stuff apart, so it is worth doing, even though it does tend to slow you down a little bit. And we've got some flans, because we all love flans in Final Fantasy, don't we? And their inability to take a lot of physical damage. Yep, looks like we're going to be back to using magic on them. Oh, where's my fire? Oh, that'd be with red, I think. I might not have put it on anybody. Fiery impulse. Perfect. I've not got that on a shortcut there, have I? Nope. Oh, Elena had nothing. Okay. Uh, very quickly, guys, just going to head over and sort those shortcuts out. That's all good, apart from I do want to give Barrett the fiery impulse there. Lest we encounter any more flans unprepared. Hello, Dad. Yeah, I'm having a blast, thanks. I'm only in Chapter 3 on this playthrough, but really enjoying it. How far through are you now? Without spoilers, like what chapter are you on? All right. Now how we getting out of here? That might be an option. Yeah, we've got a lot of climbing to do. <laughs> And here it comes, Fiery Impulse. Um, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, that's fine then, Dad. No, there's no rush at all. No, you take your time. Yeah, there's so much content, even in just the grasslands in the first region, isn't there? To explore, and there's no rush whatsoever. I haven't actually finished all of the side quest content myself in the grasslands. But we'll go back at some point. We need to unlock fast travel from June on. You can't immediately travel back from region to region. But as you work your way through each region, you can unlock methods of fast travelling back to previous regions. That fiery impulse is so good, but it's just got a weird animation. Looks like it doesn't always work, but it does. You just don't see it very well. And we leveled up healing thanks to the AP up we've got it linked to. So that's two cure-up materials we effectively have now. Um, just want to make sure there's nothing I've missed. No. Any treasures and stuff. 
Yeah, we've been waiting four years for Rebirth. It'd be a shame to rush through it now, wouldn't it? My only apprehension is being able to avoid spoilers, especially for the City of the Ancients. But there's only so much you can do about that, isn't there? Right, up is where we need to go. But I believe there's secret treasure to the right here, so we'll have to take this detour. His gun's pretty potent. Yeah, lots of ingredients. We'll have to go to the item transmute screen eventually. As there's probably a few things we can make now. More stuff to break? Okay, I'm up for that. Nothing to grab there, so let's keep working our way up. <coughs> Excavation site. Okay. Oh, I had wind current. I should have used that. These are actually uh, weak to wind. Yeah, check this out. A lot of damage with that ability on those. Oh, that's good to hear, GNU. Yeah, so am I. I'm loving the uh, changes that they made from Remake. Especially with the fact that side quests, you're not under pressure to do them. The moment you reach the chapter where they become available, you can move on and then come back to them later. And just being able to explore the world as well. Such a big thing to be able to do. But I just want to see what we can craft, if anything, here. To get some additional experience and keep levelling up our crafting. A copper bracer, okay. You do want to make at least one of each thing. Oh, we can craft more stuff now, if we've got the ingredients. Uh, we haven't. Katie, I'm in exactly the same situation. <laughs> uh, is that the way I've come from? I'm lost. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. The quest objective is not exactly clear in this area. So very easy to get confused as to where you've been and where you need to go.
Yes, even a location like this, the Mithril Mines. You know, you here for 5-10 minutes max in the OG. They've just put so much care and attention into this, haven't they? Giving it a lot more character. I've right, got another... Uh, what they call wagon thing to move. Okay, which I think we need to in order to get that treasure chest. Because I can't jump up there. Yep, that looks good. So we can move the tracks. But before we move them, we want to grab the chest. Is that available in New Threat? Is it Red Mario? Can we move it now? Do we have to push it back first? Yes, we would have to pull it back first. So I'm not even going to try. Come on, Barrett. Just being up there. No, stop it. Oh, my goodness. He's trolling me now. Okay. I know some people have had issues trying to do that, but if we can get it to work, then that would be awesome. The propeller trick on the Zeppelin. <laughs> it was, wasn't he, John? Okay, we got a troll. I suppose we should kill that first, then we can explore the area. Quite uh, blocking time. What's bonus round? Okay. I love the way as well in this game, I think it's happened more so than in Remake, that the battle themes you get against enemies are like souped up version of the theme tune for that area, mixed in with the battle theme itself. So this is like a battle theme version of the Mithril Mines, isn't it? Yay, some healing stuff. I've not played that, Bobo. No, I'm not familiar with this, actually. Ah, so it's a useless item then, Red Mario, if it's got no power and no materia slots. <laughs> Little Hilarious. running joke, isn't it, for this area? Okay, so we need to get that container budged. And this is how we're going to do it, I assume. Traversing the area and finding something we can use to knock it. Like 
Always purchase the discount items. Never know when they'll come in handy. And they're not always that cheap. Okay. Because technically, Red Mario, I think the umbrella in the original FF7 is pretty much supposed to be Aerith's ultimate weapon, isn't it? Right, what am I doing here? We've got two shut gates. Before we go up there then, let's try the um, other ladder. Probably just loot though more than anything else, but e you know, either case I want to get it. Got a chest. Yeah, so it's definitely up here, I think. It's the place to be. Right, is this for the gate? And not for a track? Okay. So we can bring that container out. Let's break this first. Now, where would the container need to be? Okay, over to here. Then we use the switch on the track. Yeah, I think I've got the hang of this and what we're doing. It's just going to take a bit of patience because those containers aren't the fastest in the world. And there's also a treasure chest over here. Oh, is that true, is it, Bubbo? Is it like a collectible now, is it, then? Because that's even more than the Final Fantasy VII, uh, VII Rebirth Collector's Edition, isn't it? <laughs> £605 for a Nintendo NES game. Yes, hitting the propeller does get you 12,000 points in the speed square, which is interesting because you don't need 12,000 points. There's nothing in terms of the prizes that's anywhere near that. I assume it's some kind of bug or glitch from the programming when they were setting up the point system. Looks like we've done it. We're in business. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Two grand. And don't you forget. Okay, so right now, bearing debt to Barrett for two grand. Let's remember that. I'm sure Barrett won't forget. Yeah, I think that's a bug as well, Red Mario. They probably didn't think that you'd even try to do that, would you? Thanks. We owe you. Yep. Two, Two grand. grand. Yeah, now they're even again. Okay, we definitely want to save here. And make sure we have uh, healed up as well, which I think we have. The fact that we got a lightning material, I wonder if we're going to need that.
Well, we've got it equipped. Another one anyway, so that'll be fine. Hmm, big open space. Music stopped. Rest place just before. We're not going to be getting, getting a uh, boss fight, are we? Of course we are. A boss fight that's brand new to Rebirth and wasn't in the OG. Bit of both, maybe. But let's try and hit the head, shall we? Oh, I've managed to time that perfectly. Oh, I should have had assess. I wonder if this guy's, uh, like, weak to lightning because of the fact there was a lightning materia. Oh, I thought that was going to be aimed at red. Oh, one thing I've noticed, by the way, in this version of the game, over and above remake, maybe it's just anecdotal so far, but it seems that when a boss goes into, um, oh, what is it? it, goes into stagger mode, it doesn't stop the damage that you're doing. Like, say you're unleashing a powerful ability. In Remake, it's really annoying because if you're unleashing a powerful ability and then it goes into stagger mode, you just lose all of the damage from the ability you're casting. That doesn't seem to be the case here. Which is obviously really, really helpful. Okay, must dodge that. <laughs> I need to be using red so that we can get some synergy abilities. Come on, nearly there. So close to the stagger. Okay, we've got to move from this. This is a nasty ability. And it still hits us. Typical. Okay, I think we've got the stagger. Maybe. Yeah, I was wondering that a few minutes ago, Twisted. I have no idea. <laughs> Okay. Right, synergy abilities. What have we got? United Refocus. Okay. Or over Fang. Yeah, raise limit levels. I like the sound of that. And it does a lot of damage too. Killing that right arm. Looks like we'll be getting a summon out in a moment as well. So I think this fight's going okay. I don't want to speak too soon, mind. Should we 
try and kill this spine or the head. Either way, we're doing like damage to the main body, so. And taking a bit of damage there. Still taking a bit of damage. Um, let's throw a cure. Just a single, basic, boring, ordinary cure onto red. Okay, there's the stagger. Alright, let's unleash a limit. Blood Fang, restoring HP, MP. Or just go for Howling Moo. Yeah, Blood Fang, I think. Let's summon as well. Oh, thank you, Red Mario, for checking that. Yeah, I think it's weak to Ramu, which means it is weak to Lightning, if that's the case. So this might finish it off. So this is a really good ability. Watch this. Cure. Uh, so I couldn't read what it said, but it's a powerful ability. Look at that. It sends, like, four waves of Lightning rods all over the battlefield. Absolutely destroys everything. Yeah, well, that ability with Ramu seems to do the job, Red Mario. You kindly. We could go back to heal at this point, but I think we're actually at the end now, so there's no real need to. In fact, we might already have been healed. Let me check. No, we haven't, but that's fine. We'll keep moving on. Oh, any chests in there? I don't think there was, but I'll just check. Nope. Yeah, this is where we just saw the party a moment ago. They left all the treasure for us, it seems. Is there no need to do that because we're not letting anybody out? <laughs> ah, this way first. Oh, thank you so much, Twisted. That's kind of you to to suggest. Yeah, I think we got all the loot in that place. If we missed anything, it must have been really well hidden. Hey. What took you? Stumbled on a killer rock formation and couldn't tear ourselves away, right? The ground here could give way at any moment. We shouldn't linger. True, but don't forget, Shinra knows we're here now. Might be more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. I ain't stopping, not for them or anyone. Yeah, you let me know, Red Mario, if there's anything to steal. But try not to tell me any bosses that are coming up, because that would be spoilerific. But just be like, the next boss has a steal or something. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Okay, I need to sort Cloud's materia out because I gave half of his stuff to Red and to Barrett. Well, I think we're pretty much done here now in the mines.
which means we're going to be entering our next region in a moment. Um, right. I'm going to give Cloud the healing materia back. And the AP up. And I guess we can give him something to uh, level up as well. Lightning, that's fine, whatever. Right, Aerith is also going to be having something useful. That's going to be healing with Autocast. Prayer, I'm not too fussed about that. Where's Red, Ma uh, Red Mario? Red 13, there he is. Good combination, chat was saying. She needs a better bracer. That'll do. I'll give her steel in case we do use it. And whatever, we'll give her prayer. Start leveling it up. Um, right, weapon skills. Altruistic recovery increases HP by 10% when healing party members. Okay, that could be good. Yeah, I think altruistic recovery is the way to go here. She's got Shiva. I'm going to say goodbye to Tifa for a little bit. Okay, that'll be fine. Check she hasn't got a better weapon. She has, but we've equipped it. Good, I think we're good to go. And I think Aerith, being our resident healer, is going to be a big help. She just used the auto heal, I noticed. So it does work at least with that materia equipped. Am I going the right way? Yeah. I thought I turned around and started going the wrong way. I do that so often it wouldn't have surprised me if I had. <laughs> Yes, Red Mary, I've got a SES equipped. Okay, here we are in the Junon region. Our, or AKA the demo for the game that you may have already played. Just them? I guess so. Thanks for that tip, Jordan. That's a brilliant tip. First strike assess. Yeah, that would save a lot of time if we we're going to be assessing a lot of enemies. Preferably Cloud, because he's the one that starts combat, isn't he? Although I don't suppose it matters really, as we can easily select another character's abilities.
Yeah, they are important, aren't they, Red Mario? Right, the first thing we want to do in this region is unlock the Chocobo. Because right now, we don't have it. Okay, we can't call the Chocobo yet because we need to wrangle it in each region. So that's the first thing we need to focus on is Chocobo, Chocobo, Chocobo. And we're going to do exactly that. But before we do that, let me just sort out Assess. I'll get rid of Lightning. Have I not got First Strike? No, I haven't. Okay, well, we'll get First Strike and then Assess will be easier. <laughs> Yeah, it's exactly the same as Sense. That's right, Red Mario. They've just renamed it effectively, haven't they? Yeah, there is a story recap you can select from the main menu. If you want to. If you want to jump straight into Rebirth. So, yeah, for sure, you absolutely can. Okay, Lumina. Now, we can't use this yet, obviously, because we need to get a Chocobo to unlock fast travel. I think we can heal up, though, at the bench still, with the Cushing. Yeah, we can still use a Cushing. No, it didn't, did it, Red? Sense was really just to get the enemy's stats, wasn't it? Now, we need to head over here. Remember, the first thing I want to do is unlock the Chocobo. So we're not running around on foot. So, Chadley's over here. I probably didn't need to spend a cushion on the bench, as there's bound to be a free one here. Now, one thing we can do is get Phoenix. You were already aware, but the Chocobos here are raised on a diet of feed, seaweed, and fishbone meal. Unsurprising, given the local industry. Um, oh, there's some new material here. Oh, interesting. I've just noticed that our data points don't carry over. They're specific to each region. So we need you non-region data points to purchase these. Magic efficiency reduces MP cost. That could be good. Thinking that up with a cure or something. Lightning and wind. Item economizer. When the item economizer effect has been triggered and an item can be used without consuming ATB, the items command will light up. Okay, use items without consuming ATB. Oh, that's cool then. That sounds really powerful. So you can get some emergency healing without needing to build up ATB to cast cure or throw potions or whatever. And then ATB stagger. An ATB boost on staggering. I think that was in uh, Remake as well, wasn't it? And I'm not doing any battles just yet. But yeah, look, we can fight Phoenix and get the Phoenix Materia by beating it. And again, we can weaken it first, which is probably what we are going to want to do, quite frankly. Uh, vitality up. Why didn't I do this before? No idea. Let's get it done. Booster defense. Not something to be uh, ignored.
Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Red? Oh, really, Kyle Anderson? Um, I'm not sure where you're referring to. I don't know if I found that area. I'll have to check it out, though. Oh, Cloud just leveled up. Yeah, you could have a bit, of, a bit of a cool combination going with both of them, couldn't you, Red? Yeah. I love this battle theme that incorporates the uh, main themes of the game. Oh, wow, this thing's actually kind of tough. Should we assess it? See what we're dealing with. Um, no weaknesses. It absorbs thunder, though. Oh, I think we fought these before, haven't we? Inflicting detrimental status effects. I don't think I've got poison, though, right now. Yeah, let's maximum fury on the Thunderclaw. Other party members can take care of the Mandrakes. Right, now he's got to take care of this thing. Kind of tough. Was never in doubt. Okay, well that yeah, that will give us the uh, vitality up. That's good. I won't need to use it straight away, but it's good to have, I suppose. Ah, oh, this gives us an enemy skill look. Plasma discharge. Hmm, I don't know what that does, Plasma Discharge. But I think we want it, don't we? So let's do it. New enemy skill, guys. Hey, Tubi, congrats. Oh, it looks like a boss thing. Yep, yeah, one round. Oh, it's Quetzalcoatl again. This thing was tough, wasn't it? Um, I can't actually remember what the weakness was. Ice. Hopefully we've got some of the ice abilities that you can cast without using MP. Let me just check what's Cloud got. Snow Flurry, that's the one. Let's get Bravery and Faith active though first. Okay, now we'll Snow Flurry. And what has he got? Not much. Okay, that barrier didn't seem to work. Yeah, it's very different than the summon, isn't it, in FF8? <laughs> this fight. I've only got one more minute. 
I didn't even realise we had a timer. Just noticed it for the first time. Now we've got less than a minute. Come on, I need to get this uh, damage on thick at the moment. What synergies have we got? Anything available right now? Oh, that's annoying. Thirty-nine seconds. Ah! I think Aerith has got Shiva. Come on, Aerith, got 15 seconds to lay waste here. No, that's just too slow. Much too slow. Oh, come on. Three. Ah, oh, we haven't done it, have we? <sighs> we were close, but not close enough. But at least now we know that ice is the uh, weakness here that we need to focus on. Nothing to it. I've got a few blue material, but I can't remember what I had before the snake. 2B. Ah, oh, okay, Lumina, but out in the wild. Gotcha. Let's get some ice going. You made short work of that simulation. Needless to say. Right. If I go to I know that Cloud can cast ice. Um If I head to combat settings, I think it is. Yeah. So what abilities does she have? She doesn't have the ice ability. Okay. Tifa. Does Tifa have an ice ability? Yes, yeah, she has icy impulse. Okay, so Tifa, you can go in the party. And Barrett doesn't have ice either, so I'm going to give him an actual ice magic. There's a method to the madness. Hopefully it will all come together. Uh, I suppose we could... Nah, AP up's not needed. Let's give him auto cast. He can cast it then, even when we're not controlling him. Theoretically. Alright, let's give that a go. Many hazards await you on we'll the just heal up first at the bench, which is just over here. Ah, I don't need another wind right now. Even though it's on discount. I got that from the folio, 2B. In fact, that reminds me we can do that right here. If I've got any points to spend. This thing here, you get it next to the benches. Uh, cloud. Anything in terms of extra power could be useful here. For this fight. So we could increase Punisher mode, counter damage, melee blade, uh, wildfire, which is a free fire attack. Okay, well let's just do this for now, a little bit of extra damage. Not a huge amount, but it's something. Okay, and Barrett. 
Lightning magic, overcharge by 5%. Ice magic, yeah, we'll use that. Okay, hopefully that'll be enough to take this thing down. I just want to try it because it gives us an enemy skill. Are you still there, Red Mario? Because... I think we're going to get a new enemy skill for this, which I know will excite you. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its material. This enemy I'm trying to defeat gives us an enemy skill material called... Well, I can't remember. Let me tell you. Um, plasma Discharge. So, yeah, makes sense to get it while it's here. I'm not sure, Red Mario. It's very possible. Okay, so we know we need to be casting ice here. As quickly as possible, I should have equipped it. Yeah, doesn't like that ice attack. Oh, she's on a shortcut, so that's good. Yeah, this is better. We're getting it pressured right from the get-go here. If I can just keep casting this. Another snow flurry. Come on. Nearly there. There we go. Uh, now the question is, what do I want to do? <laughs> Probably more icy impulse. Uh, Tifa can... She got any two attacks? No, not at the moment. Reverse Gale, that sounds good. Okay, we're doing better this time. We've got it under half HP. That's annoying. We're going to have to heal up on uh, T for here. Come on, we're so close to taking this one, getting it in the bag. What does the alpha sign mean next to the blizzard spell? Anyway, we've done it. Yeah, ice is the key to that, to getting it done within the time limit. Just like that, okay? Right, so the enemy skill should be our reward for that. Yeah, enemy skill, plasma discharge. Very nice. We need to assess 10 enemies in June on in order to get the next one. What about the grasslands? Oh, there's the first strike material. I do want that. Provoke. Okay. Elemental. I want that too. Oh, that's a June on one. We need to defeat a couple of enemies for it. Yeah, lots of material to get isn't there from Chadley. And I'm glad it tells you what material rewards you're going to pick up even when you haven't unlocked the requirements to get them. I want to see what that enemy skill does as well. Uh, who has that? I think that's Cloud, isn't it?
Oh, how do I see the enemy skills? I'm not too sure. Mm, weird. There's probably a way. Oh, okay, Lumina. Thank you. Ah, oh, Blackbeard. Nice one. Right, so this is the first step in getting the Chocobo here. We need to do the Stuck in a Rut side quest. At least the first part of it. Yeah, we did. You know, Bill, he helped us cross the swamp and everything. And then the second part allows us to travel between the Grasslands and Junon. I told that idiot to take his signs down. Oh, thanks, Blackbeard. Dangerous even on Choco Pack. I'm Gabe, by the way, owner of the ranch here. And before you ask, my birds are not for rent. Ain't worth the risk. <sighs> Used to run deliveries, but Shinra put the kibosh on all that. Still trying to keep it going best I can. Well, was trying till my carriage shit the bed. <laughs> and since I don't have the parts to fix her. Yeah, and me, Kyle. I can't wait to uh, see what's coming up. You know, I bet we could help you fix it. Kind of you to offer, but it's just a matter of getting the right parts, isn't it? Says the girl who ain't gotta fix it. But even if you were some kind of secret grease monkey, I wouldn't be able to pay you for your time. I'm flat broke. Curious about my birds? I've tried setting them free, but they just keep coming back. Force of habit. <sighs> well, nothing for it now. Serves me right thinking I could run a business. Should have known it'd all fall apart. Hey, come on now. Don't be so hard on yourself. Please, Cloud. He needs help. If not for him, then at least for the Chocobos? Yep. And if not for him and not for the Chocobos, at least for the fact that we won't have to run everywhere on foot then. I wasn't really asking, but I gotta warn you. The parts I need are hard to come by. At least around here, they sure are. So where can we get them? From this craftsman. Actually, Red Mario, my favourite powered, like, powerful Only a certain area of effect enemy skill is Magic Breath. The problem is you can't get it that early. But even when you do get it, it is extremely powerful. And it trounces Beta. Oh yeah, that's an interesting one, Carl. I'm not sure. Be cool. We do. Because it's kind of like an iconic um, costume for Barrett, isn't it? In the OG. But if we head over here... Then we are going to have to wrangle our second Chocobo. This one, by the way, guys, is the Mountain Chocobo. And we're off again. So we need to wrangle the Mountain Chocobo without being seen by the other Chocobos. Or by any of them, really. It's Bell we're getting this time. It's Pico we've got in the first region. Yeah, thanks, Lumina. Okay, want to get one of these stones and lob it over here. Oh, actually, we didn't need to do that. It's only when we're trying to get it to go back we do that. A little bit ahead of myself. They don't rush themselves, these carriages, do they? Not carriages, uh, train engine things. This one's a little bit faster than we are, so we might have to roll again if it's going to put us into view. Oh, nearly, nearly. 
I think we're okay. Okay, we're safe in the bush at the moment. Whoa! Did I miss? Cloud, you suck. And now the fun begins. We're going to have to sort of stay out of sight here. Which is really annoying because this goes the long way around. That's where the mountain chocobo is that we need. Oh, thank you, Kyle. I'm glad that video helped you. Oh, by the way, folks, while I remember, my next live stream is going to be tomorrow, okay? Same time, 2.30pm. I was going to stream this evening, but I'm uh, having a bit of a date night with the wife. Uh-oh. Oh, we've got some bushes here. Ah, oh, this is where I probably could have done with a uh, another stone. I think we'll be okay. Oops, oops, oops. I was so close, I got stuck in front of the flipping thing. <sighs> At least there's checkpoints. Why did it not retry when I asked it to? Oh, it's because I was stuck in front of the cart, so it wasn't... Okay. Oh, I've got to do this whole bit again. Trying. I think the best place to learn that early is from Godo. Or Materia Keeper. The problem is you get more enemy skill Materia, don't you? After those encounters. Red Mario. By the way, I think something has been found in Final Fantasy VII that even you don't know about. And it works on all versions of the game, like including the original PlayStation version and the PC release. And that is this. You can actually... This is awesome. Glitch out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I've messed it up again. And I'm stuck. I'm completely stuck. You can actually... Uh, glitch the... Yuffie side quest in Wutai. I saw 408 Productions made a video on this. You can glitch it and get double the materia back that she steals. So all the materia she steals, you can get an extra copy of every one, including Knights of the Round and everything. It's an awesome glitch that's been discovered. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, Austin. But I'm going to focus on this now. It is, Kyle. It's really crazy. And how you pull it off is pretty crazy as well. How anyone figures this stuff out is beyond me. Don't go in front. Okay, that's alright. We're okay. Let's get to the grass.
No, you have to actually do the Wu Tai. Yeah, you can. You have to start the glitch when Diamond Weapon spawns. It's the only way. And then on top of that, you have to. Um... Oh, that was close. You have to glitch a chocobo. And then and only then, you have to glitch it so that you can do the Wu Tai side quest on disc three. And then it works. There's a whole method to it. But we got the uh, mountain chocobo. Nice. Do we not have to give this one a, a guy sure green? Okay. That's only the start, however, of the side quest. We need to complete it because that's going to allow us to travel between the regions we've unlocked so far. We'll grab the tower first of all, since it's close by. Trying to kill this ground thing. Cap and wires. Right, there's one. of an annoying fight but not too challenging but even when these are on the ground level we still want to climb up because there will be some Moogle medals we can pick up hello Koopo Saw how you been doing good to see you you've been playing Rebirth oh I didn't know that Red Mario Yeah, that's new to me. I've confirmed protorel energy signals in your vicinity. Would you mind investigating? I haven't done that in the grasslands yet either. We need to get to that, the proto relic. Yeah, I did not know that, Red. As I say, that's a new one to me. Is there any purpose to it in terms of the gameplay? Or is it just for fun? The Wu-Tai glitch does actually give you double the amount of materia back, which obviously means really useful. Um, right, so we're heading over here. I think we need to climb up the cliff, if I remember. Oh, we've got the live spring to do first. You couldn't do this in the demo. Even though it was a mountain chocobo still, it effectively only had the abilities of the standard chocobo from the grasslands. Oh yeah, Adrian. We're in chapter four now. So the Junon region. Right, which way are we going, Birdie? This one, is it? Oh, we've got one of these as well coming up. To weaken Phoenix. Ah, here it is.
Oh, by the way, you know there's lots of ingredients here. I think, I could be mistaken, I think if you save your game and reload, you actually get them back. Let me just check. As in you actually respawn them. Yeah, look. So if you want to farm a few ingredients, then these live springs tend to be a good place to grab them. Because you get quite a few ingredients spawn, and a save and reload does seem to reset them. Anyway. Hello, Soph. Good to see you. Have you been playing Rebirth, Soph? Okay. Right, I did see, before we carry on with the quest, there was the uh, phoenix thing. Oh, do we need the chocobo for this or can we just jump down? Yeah, we need chocobo. Let's see where this is going to lead us. Okay, so yeah, there's no rush though, is there? I'm glad you enjoyed it. Right, let's see what we've got here. See what we're dealing with in terms of the mini game. Okay, square, square, triangle, triangle. Square, square, triangle, triangle. I think we got it. Yeah. Remember, these divine sanctuaries don't just make the battle easier when you fight the summon, but they also make the materia stronger when you get it. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Okay, we're heading back over here. Probably quicker from here, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Oh yes, it was. Which is right where we need to be at this hut. The next part of the side quest. Which is important, even though it's a side quest, because it does give us access to the grasslands again. When we complete it. Can I help you? We're trying to fix Gabe's cart. Oh, so you're looking for parts. Well... You'll have to come back tomorrow, or the day after. I'm too tired to help you right now. Hmm. Think a swift kick could get him up? Wake him with magic or wake him gently. <laughs> wake up! <sighs> well, you're not serious, are you? Uh, you scared me half to death. You want to get my ass up? Then you bring me exactly what's on that list, got it? Well? I say we get his ass up. Okay, so this side quest is a bit annoying because we need to find the location of the three items on the map we've got to go and hunt down. But the side quest doesn't actually tell us. So what we need to do is bring up the document he's given us. 
we can latch on that if we need to and just sort of look from there. Now, it's only showing us a part of the Junon region, not the whole lot. So we need to head back to the Chocobo tracks to start with. On the bottom left of the map, you can see those. And yeah, it's not far from there, the first one, the first item. So let's teleport. Can we teleport back straight to them? We can. So that saves a lot of time. Yeah, um, I've enjoyed it, Austin. Personally, I hated Tetramaster, but I really liked Triple Triad. So it's definitely closer to Triple Triad for me than it was Tetramaster. But yeah, I'm glad you're liking it too. Right, we need the Chocobo, of course, for these treasures. Okay, over here. A little bit further. I think we're there. Okay, I think the next one was closer to the tower that we unlocked. If I'm remembering at all. Oh, we've got another treasure here we could get. But this isn't a quest one. It's just another random treasure. Set up here, but... Oh, it's just over here. Let me just look on that little map we've got again, by myself. Uh, we're looking kind of northeast near a hut. The last one must be down there. Or down there. Oh, here's the uh, marker. Oh, there we go. And then finally, just over to the right. Around here. Should pop up in a moment. over here I think it is down the right side of this fence oh yeah we do need to kill these enemies first Okay, that's the last one. Right, and on that note, we can head back over to the quest hand-in at Wayne Wright's hut, and we don't need to manually run back. So, a quick fast travel will see us right there. Special delivery. Oh, okay, Red Mario. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, name's Freddy. So what was it you needed again? Oh, yeah. You did mention that. This'll just take a sec. Tell me she ain't a beauty. Nobody makes them like I do, and that's no lie. Go on, take it. You ought to make more than that. Gabe's definitely going to need him at some point. I don't know about that. 
Besides, I've got things to do. <sighs> like catching some Z's. For one. <laughs> so if we're all done here. Okay, so the final part of this quest is to hand it in, which means heading back to Gabe. Yeah, that's a fun little thing you can do in Final Fantasy IX, the early levelling. Something I usually always do. Guess what? Brought you a present. And yeah, as I say, this was a really important side quest to do. Not only for unlocking the mountain chocobo to run around the region in, but for what is about to happen now. Like the present. Whew. Good as new. Oh, oh, I gotta say, that old dog really helped. By the way, are any of you guys looking to stream once I finish here in a moment? If so, I can link your stream to mine so that folks, if they stick around, will be sent to it. I can finally get the business back up and running again. That's great. But before we head out, I just want to ask one more thing. If we hadn't shown up, would you have even tried to give your birds a better life? Maybe. I see. But I get it. Shinra's a big company, and what they say goes. I can't blame you for being too scared to fight back. Hey! Oh, Dark Swordsman's live. I'll just connect to his stream. Not one bit. Oh, then why'd you shut down the business? It's like I yeah, thanks, Dark. I've got you connected up now. And getting the parts to fix it sounded like a real hassle. So, so there you have it. I just let it go. How responsible. Okay, fine. I shouldn't have been so quick to throw in the towel. You happy? Starting today? I'm giving this job my all. I'll stock up on parts so I can keep the carriage moving and make sure my birds never get bored again. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> then the deal is sealed. You're quite the businesswoman yourself, ain't she? Okay, so now we can travel between the two regions that we've currently unlocked, Junon and the Grasslands. In order to do so, we need to speak to this fella right here. We can fast travel to this location whenever we want from Junon. So then we fast travel here, speak to him, and he'll transport us quickly back to the grasslands. And then back here again when we are ready. So. That's why I wanted to get that side quest done as a matter of priority, really. Okay, folks. I think that's a good place to take a bit of a break for today. So we've been at it for a good two hours and five or ten minutes or so i've enjoyed it but feeling a little bit tired now i will be back tomorrow it's saturday tomorrow isn't it 2 30 p.m uk time and we'll start exploring the junon region together and seeing what we can earn in terms of rewards and what have you but folks i want to say a big thanks to everybody that stopped by today and supported the stream just by being here but also to all of the awesome names on that side of the screen and just a big thank you to you all for supporting me really and enjoying these streams because I love being here with you guys and it means a lot that we've been able to build up this little community. So now when I finish up, if you stick around, you'll be lumped over to Dark Swordsman's stream. He's currently playing Rebirth 2. So feel free to stick around there and subscribe to him to support him too. But take care everybody. I'll catch you tomorrow at 2.30pm. Thanks for the, uh, for the fun time today. And have a great evening. Bye, guys. Bye.